Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, what is the best dua for the last 10 nights of Ramadan? Aisha radiallahu anha asked this very same question to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said to him, Ya Rasulullah, if I was to capture Laylatul Qadr, if I was to witness Laylatul Qadr, what should I say? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches her to say, Allahumma innaka afuun, tuhibbul afwa, fa'fu anni. Powerful, incredible dua. A dua is teaching us that during these last 10 nights, we need to live with the name of Allah, Al Afu, the one who pardons and the one who forgives. So in this dua, we say, Allahumma innaka afu. Oh Allah, you are Al Afu. Al Afu is the one who forgives and the one who pardons. It is more than the name of Allah, Al Ghafoor, because Al Afu means to wipe away the sin altogether. So the consequence of the sin is removed. You don't face any worldly consequences for the sin because you know every sin has a consequence. There are some sins in which its result, it, the consequence of a, a person is humiliated in this world in life. Or maybe some knowledge is taken away from him. Or maybe some evil comes towards him. These are consequences of sins. The name of Allah, Al Afu, if Allah Azza wa Jal was to give you Afu for your sins, then He wipes away the sin and He removes its consequence. He takes away its consequence. And that you will not be questioned about that sin in the grief and you will not be punished for it in the grief and you will not be questioned about it on the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. This is the name of Allah Al Afu. You see, how much are we in need of Afu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much are we in need of this name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And the best time to ask Allah for this are the days and the nights that we're living in now. So make the most of it as we are in these last 10 nights of Ramadan. اللهم إنك عفو العلماء رحمهم الله they say العفو يعني the Arabs they used to say عفت الريح الأثر عفت الريح الأثر this is where the name of Allah العفو comes from you know let's say you're walking on sand and you made footprints obviously you can easily be tracked your footprints are there they are present so when the wind comes a strong wind and it blows the sand it removes your footprints completely no one will have a clue that you ever walked here this is what al-afu means that the sin is completely removed and it's wiped away it does not exist in the record at all allahu akbar allahumma innaka afu and then look at this you're saying tuhibbu al-afu you love to forgive and you love to pardon who do you know on earth that loves to forgive? You know, if you wronged against someone once, twice, three times, that's it. They'll cut your relationship with them and they never want to see you or speak to you ever again. However, Allah Azza wa Jal, Tuhibbu, He loves to pardon and loves to forgive. And He gives it to those that come running to it. Allah Azza wa Jal is prepared to forgive all the sins, all the transgression, all the years and years of rebellion and sins against Allah he's prepared to forgive but you need to come running to it you need to rush to it this is why at tawbah at tawbah means a rujua it means to come back the idea of at tawbah the idea of seeking forgiveness is that a person has moved far away from Allah azza wa jal and now he's coming back tuhibbul afu Allah azza wa jal loves for the servant to come to him and Allah loves to forgive Subhanallah, did you know this about Allah? Well, you're going to know it when you read this part of a dua, tuhibbu al-afu. Wait a second and stop a minute and, and just keep saying tuhibbu al-afu. Internalize the idea and the concept of the fact that Allah loves to forgive. And then ask yourself, do you know anyone that loves to forgive? Allahu Akbar, then and only your heart will be filled with the Tawheed, with La ilaha illallah. And then at the end of this dua, you make your request. You say, Fa'fu anni, pardon my sins, forgive my sins. Now you are showing desperation and need for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the thing you want to focus on during these last 10 nights, because the dua is very special all year round. But it is extra special in Ramadan and even more special in the last 10 nights and imagine you're making this dua 
while you are in a salat this is extra special this is this is the highest highest degree and level of dua a person can ever make in a salat this is why al ulama rahimahumullah they said that a person's salat yani his night prayer during the last 10 nights of ramadan a person's salat that is filled with dua is better than a person who prayed the nights of the last 10 nights and did not fill them with dua because this is the time for it so always engage with this dua during the day and during the night allahumma innaka afu tuhibbu al-afu fa'fu anni allahu akbar and you know what is incredible is that nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doesn't even teach aisha radiyallahu anha to ask allah for al-jannah or to seek protection from the hellfire he could have said to her, ask Allah for Al-Jannah. There is a focus on forgiveness. Why? Look, the entire month, the prize of the month is that we are forgiven from our sins, right? This is the prize of the month. Whoever fasts its days, right? Iman and Wahdi seven, then his sins are forgiven. Whoever prays the nights of Ramadan, then his sins are forgiven. And there's so many opportunities for forgiveness. And then towards the end of the month, uh, there is this dua, Allahumma innaka afu, tuhibbu al-afu wa anni. Why? Why there is an emphasis on forgiveness? Because if you have been forgiven and you earn al-afu, complete forgiveness, then khalas, that means the paradise. That is a path and a way to enter the paradise. That's the means to enter the paradise. So if you were, if Allah Azza wa Jal was to forgive you, then you enter the paradise. As Allah Azza wa Jal said, Rush and hasten to a forgiveness of your Lord and a paradise. He mentioned the forgiveness before the paradise because if you're forgiven, then the paradise is guaranteed and the pleasure of Allah is guaranteed and all goodness is guaranteed after you have been forgiven. So we ask Allah Azza wa to forgive us. We ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow His mercy and compassion and kindness upon us. Innahu li wa dhalika wal qadiru alayh. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.